Hello everyone, welcome to the video on chemical incompatibility. When two or more than two ingredients in a prescription react chemically and forms an undesirable product, it is called as chemical incompatibility. It may be because of oxidation reduction reaction or acid base hydrolysis or involve both the reactions. And it results in the formation of precipitation, decomposed product, color change, effervescence or explosion may also occur. Now there are two types of chemical incompatibility are there, tolerated and adjusted. If the chemical incompatibility is minimized by changing the order of mixing of ingredients or adding diluted compounds, diluted solutions, it is called as tolerated incompatibility. Whereas in case of adjusted incompatibility, the incompatibility can be minimized by adding or substituting one of the ingredient. Now, in precipitation yielding reactions, the precipitation is caused by mixing of concentrated solutions and they may form indispensable precipitates. So it is always prudent to add diluted solutions to minimize the formation of precipitation. Now coming to the examples of uh, uh, chemical incompatibility, we have five different kinds of examples are there. Uh, incompatibility related to alkaloids, salicylates, iodides and then incompatibility involving release of gas or effervescence and miscellaneous. We'll see one by one. First coming to incompatibility related to alkaloids. Now alkaloids a basic uh, a mechanism alkaloids are slightly basic in nature alkali the word from that alkaloids has come now these alkaloids are usually not very much soluble in water but when they are converted into salt form they are soluble in water that is the reason why majority of drugs are given in salt form atropine sulfate strychnine hydrochloride now these are soluble but when you use a strong alkali along with this the alkali part of the alkaloid comes out of into the solution and it gets precipitated. So this is the common formula. In a salt, you have acid and base are there. If you use a base which is stronger than the base which is there in the salt, the base comes out and stronger base forms a salt. Now this can happen with alkaloids too. So alkaloids will come out into the solution and may precipitate when they are given along with strong alkalis like ammonia, salicylates, tannins or with iodides and bromides. So alkaloids may get precipitated with all these five components. Now, see in case of tannins, see tannins will immediately precipitate alkaloids. This is the reason why in alkaloid poisoning, tannins are a strong T is given. When strong T is given, it precipitates the alkaloid and precipitated form will not get absorbed into the body. This is what happens. So these are the examples of alkaloids. Now coming to the salicylates, salicylates also will get precipitated with ferric salts, Fe plus 3 ferric salts. And uh, when they are used along with strong acids, again same principle, salicylates, a, a, a weak acids will, will be given in salt form. When they are given along with a strong acid, strong acid replaces the salicylate from the salt and it, get, and it forms a salt. So the salicylate which has come out of the solution will become precipitated one. So there is a danger. Now the third one, think about this, when salicylate is taken as a solution, it gets into the stomach, in the stomach you have a strong acid is there and that precipitates salicylate and this precipitated salicylate may cause GI irritation. To avoid this, salicylates are usually given along with sodium bicarbonate. This sodium bicarbonate neutralizes HCl. But there is a problem when solutions of salicylate and sodium carbonate are given, they may get oxidized and a color change may occur. So to avoid this color change, antioxidant like sodium metabisulfates are given. So this is about sal uh, salicylates and then iodides. See, iodide is soluble in water. When it is oxidized to form iodine, it becomes insoluble. So this becomes a chemical incompatibility. So iodides are oxidized with ferric salts, potassium chloride and quinine sulfate. So care should be taken when iodides are given along with these components. Now coming to the next one, producing effervescence. Now sodium bicarbonate, uh, uh, see when sodium bicarbonate is given in a solution form, it may release carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide comes out as effervescence. Now before releasing of complete glass, if it is packed in a container and the container is closed, it may result in explosion. So care must be taken that it has to be mixed properly so that all the carbon dioxide gets, gets out of the solution. Now sodium bicarbonate may give effervescence with calcium and magnesium salts, uh, borax and bismuth subnitrate. All of them may, may release the gas form. Now the last one, miscellaneous one. Now in this miscellaneous one, uh, barbiturate salts when they are given along with ammonium bromide again barbiturate comes out of the solution and forms a precipitate. 
So instead of giving with ammonium bromide, it has to be replaced with sodium bromide or potassium bromide. One of the examples for uh, adjusted incompatibility. This is the miscellaneous one. Now the next one. See, potassium chloride is a very strong oxidizing agent. When it is given along with oxidizable substances like sulfur, sucrose or charcoal, when it involves rapid mixing or heat generation, it may result in explosion. So whenever such kind of mixes has to be mixed together, they need to be taken in a dry form and they should be carefully mixed with a spatula with minimum friction, otherwise explosion may occur. Now the next one, dyes, the color is depend upon pH. So any slight change in pH changes the color. Oxidized, oxidizable, uh, oxidizing agents and reducing agents will fade the colors. Especially, see, uh, anionic dyes are stable in low pH, whereas basic dyes are very sensitive to alkali materials. So care should be taken. Now the next one, liquidized and liquid extract. See, liquidized and liquid extract acts as a flavoring agents due to a chemical called as glycerizin. But this glycerizin in presence of acidic compounds is converted to glycerizinic acid. This glycerizinic acid is not having any flavoring uh, properties and it may cause indispensable black precipitate. So uh, liquorized liquid extract should not be given in with uh, acid uh, uh, media. Now the last one is uh, there are certain incompatibilities uh, incompatibilities will be seen with emulsifying agents. Like see emulsifying agents uh, uh, emulsifying agents which are formed with metal uh, alkali metals ammonium or triethanol amine soaps they are incompatible with polyvalent cations take for the example they may change the they may cause the uh, phase inversion like uh, if an oil is given with uh, lime it will form water by oil emulsion to that if tragacant is added it results in oil by water emulsion it, change in phase occurs so care should be taken while giving these emulsions so this is about chemical incompatibility thank you